Welcome back. We're behind the scenes touring at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum at the St. Louis County Depot here in downtown Duluth. We're going to show you the biggest, newest to us piece of working history on the North Shore Scenic Railroad. And it's right behind me. It's right here. It is huge. But before we get to it, let me tell you a little story. Henry Bessemer in 1856, an English inventor, came up with a way to take pig iron and make it into a much harder, more solid substance called steel. And what he did was he blew oxygen in through molten iron ore, and he came up with what was known as carbon steel. It was strong, it was durable, but you know what? It rusted. There was a better material. It was called aluminum. It was easier to work with. It never rusted or corroded. It has this beautiful look to it. It's shiny, but you know what it doesn't do? Weld. You can weld carbon steel, but you can't weld aluminum as easily. It took Edward Budd to come up with a way to use TIG, or tungsten igneous gas, to weld aluminum. And when he did that, he was able to make everything from automobile parts to, oh, I don't know, entire train cars, like this Bud full-length dome. Now, dome cars were all the rage in the late 1950s. They were the savior for the passenger rail industry. Everybody wanted to ride up there under the glass. And man, was it beautiful. 360 degree panoramic view of the countryside that you were going through. And you sat way up on hop and you could see for miles and miles. It was like flying at treetop level. They made 236 of the short dome cars, but these big ones, these mainline dome cars, they only made 30. Bud made 20, and the Pullman Company of Pullman, Illinois added 10 more to the mix. We've got one of the 20 that Bud built. There's only about 22, 23 of these cars running yet today anywhere in the world, and one of them is on the North Shore Scenic Railroad. Let's go inside. Imagine it's 1955. You've got a first class ticket on the Santa Fe Railroad's San Francisco Chief all the way to San Francisco. And yeah, you could be in coach. That'd be all right. It's a beautiful journey. But imagine seeing the beautiful deserts and mountains, not from a coach seat, but from up here in the dome. Number 551 was the dome car, and we have it here at the North Shore Scenic Railroad. Originally ordered in 1953, it made service in 1954, and it was on the Santa Fe Railway. Up here, you could sit back, relax, enjoy first-class service, and see the beautiful countryside going by your window. You had a catbird seat for this. Ah, what it must have been like. Well, it happens to be like that all over again at the North Shore Scenic Railroad because this car is the newest piece of our collection here at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum in Duluth. And we use it every single day on our North Shore Scenic Railroad. Three times a day, as a matter of fact, on our Duluth Zephyr. Imagine riding up here, enjoying that first class service that made this car famous back in the day. All recreated. You know, we just don't remember the golden age of railroading. It's back. This car is not just a piece of working history. It has quite a colorful history. It was ordered from the Bud Car Company in 1953 and arrives on the Santa Fe in 1954. Of the 20 full-length dome cars that Bud built, most of them were taken by the Santa Fe on the original order, and it was immediately put to use. And it was an immediate success, as you can see. The car spends its time on the Santa Fe Railway, both in the San Francisco Chief, and then also to, later, the Texas Chief. In 1971, that's when Amtrak is formed, and the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway gets out of the passenger car business. And their Santa Fe fleet pretty much goes to Amtrak with the exception of these giant dome cars that, by the way, they called the Big Dome. They couldn't reach a deal with Amtrak to uh, value the cars, so instead they sold them to an upstart, a private company called Auto Train that took you and your car from just outside Washington, D.C. down to Sanford, Florida. And they converted it a little bit, removed some of the seats to make it a little more luxurious, and ran it on the auto train. But in 1981, the auto train went bankrupt. It's still run today by Amtrak, but the private owners couldn't keep it going. So it was acquired by the C.C. Potter Company of Cincinnati, Ohio, after the auto train bankruptcy. 
and was used for a period of time for a tour called Golden Arrows out of Chicago. And then an interesting thing happens. The car disappears. And nobody knows where it is. West Tours wants to buy the car, wants to buy all of them, and use them for excursion service in Alaska for cruise lines, but they can't find the car. From 1985 to 1987, it's just gone missing. It finally is located, stored in a roundhouse of the Wisconsin and Calumet Railway in Janesville, Wisconsin. And they named the company that they had Passenger Car Associates Incorporated. And they really didn't do much with it, and that's why the car went missing. In 1993, though, the car is returned and now goes to Oregon where it is rebuilt. And listen to this. The year is 1993, the car is rebuilt, and the cost for that? $781,000 just to rebuild it. You can imagine how much these things are worth. Let's take a look downstairs and I'll show you the rest of the car. It goes to Alaska where it's used on the Alaska cruise lines and runs up from Fairbanks into Alaska and it's very popular. In fact, they're still running dome cars up there today on the service, but not these. These cars were retired and you know what the owners say? They had brand new ones built for the cruise service by Colorado Car Company, but they say these were much better, much more luxurious and rode much better. Here we have a little pantry area and a downstairs dining area. This car comes complete with everything. Not only a pantry, a bar upstairs, but it also has its very own galley. And everything on the car is fully functional. That's right. All of the refrigeration, the ovens, the stovetop, everything fully functional. And we use it today on our dinner trains, on our murder mystery trains. We'll also be running it on our Famous Dave's barbecue trains. And you get to ride along on each and every one of these routes. Go to DuluthTrains.com. Look up first class service. You know, it's first class under the glass and you get a first class ride on the North Shore Scenic Railroad. Life is indeed better in a dome. Under the glass, it's first class. When you're on a train with the North Shore Scenic Railroad, your satisfaction is our number one job. Your number one job is to still be careful. That's right, cover your coughs, don't touch your face, wash your hands a lot, and as always, Let's take care of each other.